Yo people, it's your boy Amari, back at it again with another video. Just want to welcome you again to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to record gameplay footage straight from your iMac. So no Elgato needed. Now a quick disclaimer, as again, as it, you, you know, you would have seen from the title, this is for iMac only, hasn't been tested on Windows, unfortunately. But if you'd like me to test it on Windows, I have got a Windows PC. Drop a comment below, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll definitely bring that out for you guys. Um, but so far, yeah, my audience at this moment in time is iMac users, so I'm doing it for you guys. Um, another quick disclaimer as well is that, like I said before, it's not been tested on Windows and also it is iMac only. But no Elgato, Elgato needed. Now, if you're anything like me, money is an issue. You know what I mean? It's hard times out here. So this is perfect for you guys that don't want to fork out, you know, 140 pounds, 150 pounds on an Elgato. Want to keep it, you know, cheap and cheerful. Um, yeah. So the software we'll be using will be the iMac QuickTime screen recorder. Um, and PS4 remote share. So I will leave a link in the description for all those links. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into the video. Thank you very much for watching. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is um, download a piece of audio, um, audio recording software called OBS Studio. Now, the good news is that they've actually brought out a new version. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure what the old version was like, but as you can see on screen, this is what the new version looks like. Um, and I will go into detail of how I've set, you know, my, um, you know, recordings up and stuff like that and the settings that I've used. But let's keep it very simple. In the first instance, what we're going to do is go and download OBS. All right. So what you want to do is open up your Internet Explorer or Safari. Um, as you can see, I'm actually uploading the video and the process that I've recorded using this very method. Uncharted 4, check it out. A link will be in the description for that as well. And also the Hitman Thailand walkthrough. A link will be in the description for that as well. Please do give it a like um, and a comment on the video. That'd be great. So what we want to do is go through to Google and on your Google search engine, type in OBS. Very simple, quick, simple and easy. Again, a link will be in the description so you can go straight to this page. But this is how you do it manually if you're watching this video. Now, as I said before, I'm actually using Mac, so I would normally ignore this section um, and ignore this and that, and I'll click straight on Mac. Obviously, I said before, I'm not sure if it works on Windows, but it obviously does because they do have a Windows option. But I'm using Mac, so I'm gonna click on the Mac one here, and I'm assuming you guys are too. And then what you wanna do is make sure it's on Mac OS X. So if it's on either of these two, just make sure you just click the middle one there. And also here where it says select version, I've got the like, studio version. As I said before, I've never used the classic one, but hey, studio is a much updated one. So I'll just do it with that. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is click download. Now I've already got it downloaded, so I won't um, download it. But as you know, things that you do download, they go into this section here. So what you'll do, you'll double click on the link, you'll download it, and then boom, you'll install the software package. Once you've installed the software package, it won't directly show up on your desktop like it is mine. What you'll have to do is go to Launchpad and type in the words, so I've already done it, type in the words OBS, boom, this signal will come up. And what you wanna do is just drag and drop like I've done here at the bottom, so it's nice and easy to, to reach when you wanna um, start recording your videos. All right, so once you've done that, it'll bring up this page here. All right, so for the purpose of this video, I've already got my um, sort of scenes and everything set up, but the most important thing you wanna do is get the right video capture setting set up. So what you will need to do is hit on um, OBS and go on to preferences, all right? So everything I just kept the same on this page. I chose it to start because I think it looks better, but this is what it looks like default. So if you're wondering, oh, his one looks dark, my one looks like I've just changed the, um, you know, this, the default theme. Um, I don't stream as of yet. Um, if you'd like me to, again, drop a link, drop a comment. Um, so I just pretty much left this blank. Again, I'm very new, um, so I, I don't really go into details. I'm sure much YouTubers do. This is just a very simple poor man's guide for YouTube beginners. Um, and yeah, the most important thing you want to do when recording your videos is make sure where it says under output, read in format, that you choose MP4, all right? By default, it will be FLV. And the issue with that is when you want to put your um, files into iMovie, which I'm assuming you'll all be using, again, poor man's guide, ain't got no time for Final Cut Pro. The FLV file doesn't actually get read in iMovie. So what you wanna do is under read in format, as I said, just quickly click on MP4, and that will export every video that you do as an MP4. All right, in terms of audio, again, what you wanna do is make sure that you've got the sample rate set to 44.1 kilohertz. 
the channel set to, uh, set to stereo and the desktop audio device. So this will be the sound that comes from the desktop. So for me, that would just be the internal speaker. So I've just kept that as default. Um, the desktop audio device. Now, this is the what you'll actually be hearing from the actual, how do I say it? The actual gameplay. So Soundflower isn't a system that comes already installed of OBS. But if you'd like to, or you'd like, if you'd like for me to actually do a video on how to actually use Soundflower, let me know, I'll definitely do that for you guys. But the option that you guys will see will be default, so just keep it simple to default, default. Um, but yeah, so basically keep everything on this page default. You don't really need to change anything here. Um, and in terms of video, I can't really change it here, but this is what I use. Um, base canvas, 920 to 1080. Um, output scale 1280 to 720, down scale theta, you know, again, I didn't really trouble this, I just left it all the same. Oh, common frames per second. Um, what I'll say to you, if your computer can handle 60 frames per second, then most definitely go for it. Again, poor man's guide, I've only got the basic Apple Mac and I've just kept it to 30. It still, you know, runs in HD quality, so it's absolutely fine, there's no problems there. Uh, and this is just for hotkeys in advance, don't, don't even bother go there, it's absolutely fine. No way you're right. So those are the basic settings that you need, all right? The next thing that you need to do is you need to down for, download, sorry, oh, getting words tongue tied there. PS4 remote play. All right, so this is the very key bit in order to record your gameplay videos. And so what I'm gonna do now is show you how you actually download the PS4 remote play. Again, a link will be in the description for convenience, but if you wanna do it this way, you absolutely can. All you have to do is in Google, type in PS4 remote play. All right, and then what you wanna do is click on the first link, boom. So again, I'm using Mac. So what you'll do is you'll download using Mac. All right, and then it'll start the download. Again, I've already got this downloaded, so I'm not gonna install or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you'll see the remote play installer. All we have to do is click install, boom, and it's installed, all right? And then what will happen is once you've unpackaged everything, let me minimize this, you'll get this. So this is PS4 remote play. All right, so now is where it gets really key and really crucial in terms of how you actually do the video. And I'm actually gonna to switch to my um, DSLR to actually show you how you actually um, you know, do stuff. See, so, as you can see here, I've actually got my PlayStation here on my main TV. And that's the PlayStation down here, all right? Now the key to all of this is making sure that you've got the PlayStation settings set correctly, all right? Um, but I'll show you that in a moment. I'm just gonna show you that, look, everything's linked up, boom, 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 absolutely fine. All right, so what we'll do, we'll go back to where I'm actually sitting and where actually I record my gameplay from. All right, so you look, you're getting a little, um, you know, setup tour here. Boom, this is where I sit again, poor man's guide, need your digestives, keep it very sweet, keep it very simple. Look, my microphone is coming out of a mug, you know, we like to keep it simple out here, all right. Um, but yeah, anyway, so what you need to make sure is that you've got your PlayStation controller plugged into the back of your iMac at all times. So that's all you need to do is just take the charging remote cable that you use, which I've got here, and just plug it into the back of your PlayStation, um, your iMac, which I'm gonna do now. All right, once you've done that, your PlayStation will say the DualShock 4 has been disconnected. So don't worry about that, that's absolutely fine, everything's all right, all right? So what you need to do, so I'm out of breath now. Come back to your PlayStation and you'll see this screen here. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is actually switch back to the PC for you guys to see it on the PC so it's a lot clearer than what was up before. So yeah, when you're back on this screen here, what you'll need to do is click start, all right? And you need to make sure that your DualShock controller is connected at all times via the USB into the back of the Mac. Once you unplug it from the Mac, it will um, disconnect the PS4 remote play. So just make sure that you've got that plugged in at all times. All right, and then what it will do is it'll begin to search for your PS4. Now I've logged in a couple of times, so mine comes up pretty much straight away. So if you just be patient a little bit, but it will eventually come up and boom, here's where you've got the screen. Now, when you first download the PS4 remote play, you'll be asked to in, you know, input your PlayStation 4 details. It works all fine, it's all normal, and it'll be absolutely fine. Um, for that. So yeah, when you go in, just make sure, yeah, everything looks the way it does. Uh, this is what I use to actually get the green play on my screen. And as you can see, you can hear the sound, everything works fine, everything's perfect. Um, what I'll say to you is it's key that 
you've got the settings working correctly. Now, if you're sat here, you're trying this and your PlayStation is not working, it's because your remote play settings aren't, um, you know, on the right ones. So what you need to do is just make sure under settings, sorry, I just have to go for it. Under settings, you scroll right down to where it says remote play connection settings, and then you click on enable remote play. This one as well, if it's not already ticked. And then, um, yeah, that'll be fine. And I think, yeah, output, just make sure you put it at 1080p um, or, or an automatic, just to make sure that, you know, when you do connect to your PlayStation, it is at the highest output setting um, that you have. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, that's everything. All right. Also guys, add me on PlayStation 4. I play FIFA 16. Um, I don't think I have any two-player games, GTA, Hitman, I'm doing a Hitman series on my show. Uh, Uncharted 4 will probably be the most likely game, and FIFA 17 when it does come out. I've actually got the beta, so if you'd like to see my um, you know, thoughts on that, again, drop a comment below. But yeah, off that topic. So yeah, what you want to do is, boom, that's how you get the screenplay to record. Now, the key bit when actually recording is that you have this page open and you have your OB OBS open, all right? So now I'm going to show you how... So what I like to do is I like to use the OBS window capture um, facility. So what you need to do is click control or hold control and click add. All right, when you've done that, it, you'll get this pop up. Just put anything in, so you can put what all right? What all right? So then what you need to do is on where it says sources, you click add and then I normally put window capture and what that does is that captures everything in the window. So then what you'll do is you'll click create new and then it will actually give you the options of things you can record and what you want to do is go to where it says ps4 remote play and as you can see on screen boom that's what you'll see and just to prove that it's working and look there's no lag absolutely no lag i think in this video you might see a bit of lag because it's recording two things at once as well as the video uploading but when everything's shut down no lag whatsoever and just to prove that it works i'll click on gta Boom, there you go hello it loads all right so yeah boom that's basically it that's basically how you record your ps4 gameplay poor man settings and um just to show you i mean for my um videos when i save them i forgot to show you this actually i save them in where it says stop recording you'll click that and it will stop recording all right and you can default where you want your videos to be saved under where it says output you click here. I actually saved mine on my, um, what's it called? Uh, external hard drive. I haven't got enough space on the Mac, but you can save wherever you like. So you just record in path and then click browse. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I really hope you guys do enjoy it. Again, this is my first ever walkthrough tutorial video. So please forgive me if I was waffling on just a little bit. Um, you know, and drop a comment below. If you have any sort of um, difficulty installing this, you know, just drop me a comment. I'm more than happy to support you guys. Again, this worked for me absolutely fine. First time round, no problems whatsoever. But if there are any obstacles you guys come across, again, just let me know. I'm more than happy to help. I'm no expert, but I'm more than happy to help. And once again, guys, just thank you very much for tuning in. in. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you found this useful. And good luck to your YouTube career. Drop me a subscription. We can drop back. We can also play games online. I'm more than up for it. Um, but yeah, hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.